for it. Um, I'm not sorry. I don't operate in that frame. I don't think it's an intelligent way for a man to go through life to say, I'm sorry. At, at a younger age, I did the best I could possibly do. And I did the best I believed at the time. And you grow from it and you learn. And perhaps there's times in your life where you look back and think, well, maybe I would, would have done this differently because hindsight's always 2020. But every rapper sold drugs. Like you get to a certain stage in your career where you no longer sell drugs and you don't do it anymore, but that's part of the life journey and life's messy. And I'm not going to sit here and apologize to any conservative who wants to sit me down and try and give me some moral high ground garbage. I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen to it. I had a very rough upbringing, a very tough life, and it could have been so much worse in so many ways. I've done nothing illegal. I've never hurt anybody. Everybody who was involved in my life back then are massive supporters of me. And I think it's very hypocritical for someone to sit, look at a situation they were not involved in and don't understand, look at old clips taken out of context, and then tell me and a whole bunch of people who were in my life who were all perfectly happy that something bad happened and something wrong happened. I don't think that's genuine. And 